You ready, Malcolm? I am ready. I'm telling you. there buddy good morning YouTube hey everybody it's Greg today is Friday August 20th and we are out on our next adventure actually I say we uh, this trip is a little different in two years that Eddie my son has been working with us he has never missed a trip and uh, today I am on my way to New Mexico without my sidekick my co-pilot I have an empty chair next to me, so I'm not super happy about that. I thoroughly enjoy our time together. That's one of the main reasons that I do what I do with this company is so I can spend time with my son and go on all these adventures together. But with that being said, I've got someone new that's coming with us, or actually new to you all, because you haven't met him yet. One of our longest time, actually our longest time employee not just an employee, he's uh, one of my very best friends. He's uh, one of my best hunting buddies, Lindsey Moss. And he actually started as a cameraman with us in 2006. I'm actually on my way to his house. He's got a nice range at his house out to 400 yards. We're going to double check the Benelli Lupo, make sure it's all in line. And then he and I are heading west to one of our outfitters in Des Moines, New Mexico not Des Moines, Iowa, but Des Moines, New Mexico. And we're gonna hunt antelope for a few days. And then he and I are heading down to Texas to check out a new project that we're working on for you guys that we're super excited to announce here real soon. So anyway, we're gonna see you here in just a few minutes and I will introduce you to an awesome individual, Lindsey Moss. The guy's in there working, man. <laughs> he's right. acting like he's working. What you got? Printing out our map, heading out uh, antelope hunting. Meet Lindsey Moss, guys. The guy I was telling you about. It was all true. Everything that I said. Yeah. If I knew I was on camera, I'd have put a hat on, cover up my ugly head. <laughs> Here. Ain't nobody want to see there? my ugly head. Yeah. Everybody's like, man, you two look like. Now we just both bald and both got beards. That's all. <laughs> man, you want to talk about legit? Check this out. My buddy here's got a platform for going prone. Out to 400 yards i can't do that in the neighborhood this is pretty cool so yeah we're gonna crawl right up here get prone and shoot out to 400 300 stacking them right on top of each other uh so our data is good and uh yeah we're gonna check out 400 and we're gonna hit the road jack you, you, just, hand, you, need? you just hand them to me I just oh except a rifle kind of help actions open don't grab it down here, it's probably a little warm. Yeah. All right, so check this out. Way down there, I'm just using the GoPro so I can't zoom in, but anyway, yeah, down there at 400 yards, that's where we're going next. Yeah. Yeah, held center, hit center.
like, what's up? So I'm doing this really, really quick because the mosquitoes are thick out here. Lindsay and I made it to, Man to New Mexico. There's Lindsay. And uh, this is gonna be really, really cool to even think about. So the camp is full of Outdoor Solutions clients. Two of them have already been to our long range schools, one of them twice, Mr. Al. Malcolm has been once as well. And then we've got a brand new client, Dave, here with us also. Five hunters in camp, so hopefully we'll have five antelope down here probably within the next two days, I bet. I'm going inside, I'm getting to eat up. See you tomorrow. Good morning. You ready, Malcolm? I am ready, I'm telling you. I'm anxious to go. Yes, sir. I like that, so okay. we'd get one that's uh, park shaped, that would be cool. Um, I ain't worried about it. First one I ever shot was Boone and Crocus, so I don't, I'm not a scorekeeper. Okay. Uh, anyway, and unless it comes to mule deer, then I am. <laughs> I still need that big ass mule deer. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what we can so. do for you. over behind. Next, let's see where they go here. They go across that fence in the road. Still kind of right there on that yeah. ridge. What do you do? Pull it under the neighbor's fence. Yeah. Wrong neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you on day one? This isn't something we get to do very often. Usually I'm at an event, field the table, long range school, so I'm working, I'm hunting today. <laughs> Except right now we're hunting with Malcolm, and this is something I don't get to do very often. I'm actually getting to hunt with a client. Malcolm has been to a long range school. I don't know how many hunts you've been on with us. Four. Four, yeah, so number yeah. four, and he loves coming out here and shooting these antelope, hunting antelope. That's what we're doing right now. We're out maybe 20 minutes in the truck, spotted first antelope, he's a dandy. But he was smarter than me and Malcolm, or he's smarter than me anyway. But Malcolm didn't get to squeeze the trigger on him. He went over across the property we don't get to hunt on. And matter of fact, they're way over there. I don't know if Lindsay's gonna be able to get on them or not, but maybe we can show you some footage of them. So we're gonna go try some others that are on our property. See if we can get one, let, let that 270 do some work, right? Right. All there right, man, go. here we go. So here's what we're doing. Lindsay's filming Malcolm and Mikey. Me and Lindsay are just sitting here in front of the windmill, wrapped right, wide out in the open, typical antelope hunting. No brush, and they're they're trying to close the distance on the antelope, and they've got a cow decoy, and so they're just hiding behind it. And there's a decent goat out there, but it's about 700 yards. Malcolm wants to be around 300. He'll shoot at 400, I think. Uh, we got just a slight wind. So anyway, they're walking behind that cow. Uh, you getting that, Lindsay? Yeah, Lindsay's getting that on camera. So anyway, keep your fingers crossed. See if Malcolm gets him, gets him down.
Well, that didn't work. <laughs> so there's, uh, we're, oh, we're three, we're for two. So far. Yeah, so, man, they're, they're skittish out here. Way, way too many does, but no doe tags. They're on their way back. Did you get him? I don't like the cow either. <laughs> they like nothing. Man. They sure don't. Damn. 473. All right, so Malcolm and I did not get it done this morning. We got the first hunt out of the way, but our buddy Ryan uh, did get a really nice heart-shaped antelope this morning. Who's the lucky one? That's me, sir. Really? Yeah. Nice. Got the little heart shape all on it, so. Really? Yeah, why not? Thanks, thanks. Awesome. So, yeah. Got a little nap in, we got some lunch in, and now we're heading out for the afternoon hunt. So we got one down and four more to go. We're heading out right now. See you in a little bit. And so we just had a really close call. We sat and waited on this buck for, I don't know, what, two hours? Yeah, yeah, in the sun. He had three does with him. Nothing would just add up. He'd bed down, get back up. And we just sat there and waited and waited and waited. Finally, the does left and he stayed. So we made our move. We had a swing and a miss, but he went clear to the other end of the pasture where we had a big berm we could get behind. So we got up behind the berm, got in on him again, and uh, he was right at 500 yards out, but uh, he had made his way back close to a, a road, a fairly heavily trafficked road, wasn't a good shot, so we're, we called it and we're heading on to see if we can find something else. Who says antelope hunting's easy? Right, Malcolm? Yeah, you need to put that in there, that's for sure, yeah. <laughs> this one hadn't been easy. <laughs> Gave us the slip twice. Yeah. So we sit for hours in the right. yeah. <laughs> waiting on one yeah. that didn't cooperate. We drive up over a little knob and was there six? Yeah. Six bucks all together. And you got this guy at just over 200 yards. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Oh look, he's perfect heart shaped. 
Yeah. 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 That was a fun day. Oh, it was. Or Ended up fun, that one. Fun After, end to a day. Huh? Yeah. good again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it? His right side looks well. That'd be his left side though. Hey, good morning. So I forgot to do my update. I think you all saw last night. Malcolm got his and uh, actually we were three for five in camp right now. Our other hunter Dave from Florida is out with Dave, our outfitter. And uh, it's me, Mikey, Lindsay, and Malcolm is with us. And we just did a really cool stock. Uh, decided to go ahead and pass on the buck. He was a little smaller than, than what we thought. And we're gonna move on and see if we can find another one. So what's the game plan? I think our best plan of action is to go down here on this ridge where the grass is kind of yellow. And we'll work our way back to the southwest and the grass is gonna turn a little bit browner. I think once we get to that brown grass and it starts to level back out, I think that's our best plan of action to get off and get down into him. Cool. Sound like a plan to me. So we've got one. We got one at 800 yards. Uh, we're, as you can see, out in wide open, out in the out in the pasture, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to use what little train we have to our advantage and see if we can go get on this one. Let's do it. Okay. Follow you. He hasn't moved? No. There he is. 530 yards. As soon as he turns sideways, take the shot. So I don't, want, I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? so what are we headed to go get? <laughs> a goat, a speed goat. <laughs> and go check him out, see where that shot placement is. Yeah, it dumped him, man. If it's where it's supposed to be, we'll show you. If it's not, <laughs> you're just going to assume. <laughs> That wind carried more than what I thought then. Much more wind. I got lucky. A lot of wind. Wow. Yeah, I was maybe, holding. Maybe gusting right down through this valley right here. Yeah, that maybe been. Wow. Yeah, I was aiming here. That's lucky right there, buddy. So the, it's not bad news because he's dead, but the wind carried a lot further. It ended up being a neck shot. The good news is 
I get all the meat. No shoulders are destroyed, no gut shot, so we get 100% salvage out of this guy. Good stuff. What a great time this has been. We're only on the morning of day two. We're five for five. We've only got five hunters in camp. One hunter uh, did have a sh uh, shot and a miss, uh, but he's still going. We know he's going to end up getting his goat. Uh, this is number four right here. It's another one of Outdoor Solutions Outfitters that does an outstanding job. If you're just thinking about getting into hunting or at least into big game hunting, Antelope is one you probably should consider because it's a very high success rate. You're going to see lots of animals all different types of hunting styles. You can sit on water holes, spot and stock, cruise around the truck till you see something, get out and go get on them. And also it'll give you an opportunity to work on uh, on your shooting skills too. Anything from as close as, well, if you're lucky 150 yards to this one uh, was 535 yards. So uh, it just kind of varies of what your comfort zone is. But man, we had a blast on this one. And what we teach in our long range schools, I actually got to apply 100%, use the shooting sticks, use my bag that we use that we use for some of our techniques in our shooting schools and was able to get right on him but i didn't account for my wind enough i held one minute of wind i actually probably should have held for two we ended up with a neck shot which is actually fantastic that's what i would have much preferred but i didn't do it on purpose uh but still uh end result was the same got a beautiful goat down now we're gonna get him fill dressed get him back get him uh get him skinned and get him cooled off and ready for the cooler Lindsay and i are then going to head to texas to the T-Diamond where we do all of our from field to table events and we're gonna use all of our meat processing equipment there, use the tables that we have, the butchering blocks and get them in the cooler there and uh, then it'll be time to go home.